Welcome! In today's tutorial, we will learn how to utilize the DAS to Cinema 4D Bridge. We will cover how to import your character to DAS Studio, open the DAS to Cinema 4D Bridge, and port your DAS content into Cinema 4D. First, we'll add a figure to the scene. For this video, we'll use Victoria 9. After adding a character, you may want to give her some clothing and hair. Now, let's render an image using iRay to get a reference. When you're ready to export, ensure your character is selected in the scene graph. Then go to the File menu, select Send To, and choose DAS to Cinema 4D. The DAS to Cinema 4D bridge will pop up. Let's keep all these settings the same. Ensure the asset type is set to Skeletal Mesh, since we're dealing with a rigged figure. Click Accept. Once the process is completed, click OK. And let's switch over to Cinema 4D. Now we're in Cinema 4D. To complete the conversion process, go up to DAS 3D in the menu bar. Click on it, and then select DAS to C4D. Click on it, and when the DAS to C4D loading screen appears, click Genesis Characters. Your DAS character will begin importing. During the import process, you will get a pop-up to fix your bone orientations and convert to T-Pose. You can click Yes to both. After it processes, you will see your character automatically imported into Cinema 4D. Now you can continue to finalize your creation. The textures will be saved to a temp folder by default. You'll want to save them wherever you see fit. Click Save with Textures and customize the name and location. Once your project finishes saving, you are done with the import process. You can now do a test render by clicking Render from the menu bar and selecting Render View. Compare this with the iRay reference image rendered in DAS Studio to ensure your import was successful. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use the DAS to Cinema 4D Bridge. Keep creating!